Well, yeah, I am gay. I don't. I'm not embarrassed about it. I don't fucking care. Nothing wrong with being gay, though. I sucked a couple of in my lifetime. Who is Admiral Bulldog, and why did Admiral Bulldog give up or quit? the professional dodo scene in this video we're gonna answer these two questions so stick around and hope you guys enjoy he was a legendary nature's prophet and lone druid player he won the international of 2013 with team alliance due to that win his fame has grown in fact to this day, his fame is beyond one's imagination. He is a very prominent figure in the Dota world because he streams live, especially on Twitch. To this day, he has many followers, many fanatics, many girls that like him as well. Yes, you can see a clip right here where he's flirting with every single girl that he sees. Oh my god. Let me poach you, baby. I'll show you. Uh huh. I bet you will, Admiral Bulldog. I bet you will. Anyways, nevertheless, people love him for that, especially for his funny antics and memes. I, everybody loves you. Oh, well, they're jealous because I have fever. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, what can I say? Uh, when I saw Ember Buckler, it got a little bit questionable. <laughs> I mean, uh, we've seen Puppy do it on his heroes, and it's like, I don't know how good it is. But then, I'm pretty sure Puppy forced him to do that. And then Mid-1 was like, please no, and then he just gives a look. And, you know, you don't want to mess with Puppy. However, what was the real reason for Admiral Bulldog to quit professional Dota? Why would a TI winner, why would an international champion suddenly quit Dota? It's like winning the NBA Finals and then leaving suddenly, you know? Why would LeBron James just quit all of a sudden? Why would Steph Curry just give up? Well, that's what Admiral Bulldog did, but let's just look at it from another perspective. According to the rumors, according to the, you know, the facts out there, Liquipedia says this. First, S4 left the team, and due to that, Admiral Bulldog stated that he would take a break from professional play. This is a quote, he says, S4 is leaving Alliance. I felt there is need for change for myself as well, end quote. So then it says it's unclear if the team will continue under the leadership of Loda and EGM and Aki. In fact, the team just breaks apart. However, Admiral Bulldog clearly states that, hey, I'm not going to play until I feel like I have a good team. That's pretty much what he says. Despite that, we still have very beautiful memories of Admiral Bulldog, especially on his Lone Druid and Nature's Prophet. People feared these two heroes by him. Dive underneath the tier one tower between Alliance and Navi before. Although also Vost on the Radiant side, turning things around, getting himself a triple kill. This time around, it's Sonico trapped. Admiral Bulldog with the full on surround. He's gonna get first blood. Oh, Sonico, he thought he had a plus one armor, not enough for Ogre. On liquiddota.com, there's a whole post, a thread that goes around regarding Admiral Bulldog's sudden departure from professional gaming. So some people think that Admiral Bulldog was kicked off of Alliance. This is untrue. This is also confirmed by Jonathan Berg's Twitter reply. He says, for everyone's info, we haven't kicked anyone at Admiral Bulldog. He's having a break, waiting for an update about Chessie. So if you want to know who's Chessie, Chessie was another stand-in player that got hurt. He had an injury on his back, and due to that, the team was just feeling out of place. Once Chessie was hurt, S4 was deciding to leave. Admiral Bulldog took a break. So the whole team was in a very, very bad situation. Also, Bulldog later on the stream says that he's not having a permanent roster and that he has lost motivation for professional gaming. So until he has a very solid team, he will be unlikely going back to Pro Dota. Also, Lions had a heavy amount of stand-ins. Stand-ins are temporary substitute players. And because of that, they never were able to solidly unify. They were never able to get together and play as one. So many people thought that this would be a temporary thing. Maybe Bulldog would find another team and come back. That remains to be true. But look at a, a, another perspective. To this day, Bulldog is like the ninja of Dota. It's the second, the 
challenge comes in. Can Ninja win his first game? The Rockets are out. Yeah. I mean, he's not making as much money, but he is making a heavy amount of money, especially due to Twitch streams. So many people just watch it and don't know about it, but he doesn't have to play professional Dota because it's too risky. Two, he's not going to make as much money as he does on Twitch. His personality shines on his Twitch channel. It's like watching your own TV series. And every fan is just interested on what Bulldog has to say his reactions, even watching live videos on Sorry, YouTube gets him game. money. And it's very, very funny. Come on, man, I got a five-man echo to win tonight. What the fuck? Some good production value right there, boys. Good production value. When people actually would cringe unironically in chat, think about that. So, due to the sudden disappearance of Bulldog, many fans around the world were devastated, they were sad. Everyone kept saying, come back, love you, my beloved admiral, my nature's prophet, you know, the rat king, etc, etc. Some people even started to say that Admiral Bulldog ran away from the team when they needed him the most. Now this is a little overboard. They said that he quit on Team Alliance when they were going through their toughest time. It's like your family is having their worst time in their history. They're having to file bankruptcy. Their business is, is going out of proportion and all of a sudden everybody bails out one another. That's pretty much what Bulldog did. However, he also had to think of it from his perspective. What about my own future? And he thought that, hey, if my personality can shine on Twitch stream, why can't I make a living out of it? Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons it is successful is because I won a TI as well. So, I mean, yeah, if, if my stream was not successful, if I could make a living off it, I'd have to make a living somehow. And it's play competitive, and, you know, which is kind of a dream for a lot of people or be a janitor so I mean it would be an easy choice for me and this is what he continues to do it's like similar to what Sing Sing is doing Sing Sing to this day is a live streamer on Twitch and he makes tons of money by doing it so what does this say about Swedish players in the Dota scene well Swedish players are very known to be nice people if you hear a Swedish person cursing it seems like they're giving you a hug Honestly, I can't take it seriously. But nevertheless, the Swedish scene, ever since Alliance has fallen, it has not been the same. Ever since Bulldog's departure from Alliance, it's just not the same anymore. So for the entirety of the Swedish nation, it's a shock for them, especially because they loved Alliance so much. And now that these players are all scattered everywhere, it's sad for the nation of Sweden, especially because they don't have that much representation in Dota as they had in the past. Today, Alliance continues to, you know, slither around with a second tier players, and it's just not the same as it was in the past. Many players on the forums were suggesting about players replacements for S4, for Bulldog, etc. But honestly, those were the legends of Sweden, of Swedish Dota. And without them, it's not the same. You can replace them, but you won't have the same feeling. You won't have that lone druid bulldog. You won't have nature's profit gameplay. You won't have S4 puck. It's not gonna happen. You won't have Loda's raging antics, his rage buybacks and coming back. You don't have that anymore. It's just not the same. Anyways, I hope you guys were able to understand why bulldog decided to leave professional game. His team was falling apart. He found another option to make revenue, another platform to make, you know, his self grow big at the same time feeding his pockets. Until next time, this is Crystal's Dota Out. EGM, I think? Why, why is that? Why is that? Why EGM? He's a cute little uh, innocent boy. Seems good to me. Uh, I mean, he's pretty good. He's pretty good.